So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free cache secured put scanner using Thinkorswim. And uh, this is really handy and I use it all the time and I think you're going to like it. All right, let's get into it. So here in Thinkorswim in the uh, scan section, in the stock hacker section, and this is where we're going to create our filter. Everything you need is in the add filter button right here. We're going to do stock filter, we're going to do an option filter, and we're going to do a study filters. Uh, we're not going to do fundamental or pattern in this. Um, you can for other stuff though. It's, it's, these are really cool. Like patterns, you could search for like wedges and triangles and that sort of thing. Fundamentals, you know, you could do PE and all that stuff, I guess. I don't really use that, but I use stock option and study. So we'll start with these. We'll just do stock filters first. So I'm going to go to last. So this is where we choose the price range for the, the stocks we want to have. You know, this is all depending on your account size because, you know, cash secured puts are pretty capital intensive. So, you know, if you have a small account, you want to set your max value to like a smaller value, maybe like 50 bucks or something. If you have a larger account, you could set up to like $250, $300. You know, it's all dependent on your account size. I'm going to do $20 to 250. And next we're going to add in another stock filter. This one is percentage change. So when we're getting in on a cash secured put, I like to get in on a down day. So I'm going to make sure that like the stock has you know dropped by a certain amount for the day so far. So look for percent change. And I don't want it to have dropped too far. I don't want to get into some like falling knife or anything. So maybe like 10% to like negative 2%. So, you know, this will say that it's fallen, but not fallen too crazy. You could even bring the 10% up if you wanted to, but sometimes it's it's good to get in. If something's, you know, had a pretty bad day, it's a good time to get in on a cash secured put. You just, you know, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. And then uh, next I'm going to add in one for market cap because we want to make sure we're getting in on, you know, pretty high quality stocks. So you want to, this is a good way to weed out the, you know, the small cap trash. So I'm going to market cap. And this is in millions. So if you type in 5,000, that's the same as like a, a 5 billion market cap. So I'm, I'm just gonna do that. And uh, next, this one is completely optional. Uh, I like to do it for, for these types of trades. I like to make sure there, that if I'm doing a wheel strategy on something, I like to make sure it has a dividend. So I'm gonna add in one for yield. But if you don't care about that, then you could just leave this off. You'll get more results without it. But I actually like getting stocks that uh, pay a dividend. So I'm going to put this in here and I don't really, I'm just going to put in anything. Like I'm going to put 0.01 just so I get all the results of stocks that pay dividends. And uh, because a lot of times great stocks with good dividend growth rates actually pay low dividends. So I'm just going to keep that like that. And max I'll pay, probably put 10% because anything that yields much higher than that can get a little risky and I don't want to get involved in it. And uh, these are all the, the stock filters that we're going to be doing. And now we're going to add in some option filters. So I'll go here. And the first one we're going to add in is implied volatility. And this one's important because, you know, the higher the implied volatility, the higher the options premium, but also, you know, the more volatile the, the underlying stock. So more risk, more reward type thing. But I, I usually like to go about like 30 all the way up to 100. This is all dependent on, you know, on what type of trader you are, if you're conservative or more aggressive. So, you know, I'll leave these numbers up to you. And uh, next, we're going to add another option filter for Delta. And if you go look at the option chain, um, let me see for QQQ, uh, 28 days away, you could see for I'm on the put side right now and you could see the deltas on the put side, they're negative and where you'd probably want to do a cash secured put is anywhere from like, you know, at the money. So like negative uh, 0.50 all the way down to like, uh, this is depending on how far you like to go uh, out of the money. So you could go all the way down to like, you know, 0.10 if you want to, negative 0.10. But I'm going to do like negative 0.2 or something. And for delta, you could do, make sure you do a negative. Negative 0.5. I have two negatives here. To negative 0.20. All right. So this will only show us uh, puts that are in that range. So you're not going to have 
you know, a lot of in the money ones and you're not going to have super far out of the money ones because that'll just clog up the results. And uh, next, for redundancy's sake, we're going to say for the option type, it's a put, even though the negative values right here are kind of just going to show us puts, but I'm, I like to put this anyway. So option type, do put right here. And next is the, uh, we're going to add in option filter and then days to expiration. And this is, you know, like I said, it's completely subjective. This depending on how you like to trade. If you like to do weeklies, you know, you're going to want to do like, I don't know, three is a little too short. Maybe do like six to 10 days or something. And if you like to do monthlies, make sure to do like, you know, like 28 to like 32 or something, just so depending on when you're doing the scan that you'll have things that fall within that range. Uh, if you're going to do um, weeklies too, you, you want to make sure you're doing this when scan in all stocks. I'm going to do scan in. Uh, let me go down to where is it? public S through W scan in weeklies. So now just it's looking in a universe of stocks that only has weekly options, which is really helpful. Even if you're not just uh, doing weekly cash secure puts, it's good to use these kind anyway, because eventually if you turn them into covered calls, it gives you more flexibility if you have weekly options to choose from. So for days to expiration, I'm going to do like six to like 10 because I'm going to be doing weeklies on these cash secured puts, at least in this scanner. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And the next one is very important. This is an, another option filter, the last option filter I'm going to use. It's return on risk. This is saying for how much you're putting up, what, what your returns are going to be. And so this is, since we're doing weekly options here, this is how much you intend to make per week. So this would be like, I would say 1%, not, not negative positive 1% to like 3%, you know, that's a good range because this, these are weekly options. If you were doing like days for expiration, like monthly options, you'd probably want to jack this up a little to like 4% or 3% or something. But, uh, this is, you know, this is also dependent on what kind of impl implied volatility uh, values you're choosing. If you're choosing high implied volatility, you can get a higher return on risk. If you have lower implied volatility, you get a lower return on risk. That's just the way it goes. So that's pretty much it for all the options filters. And next we're going to add in a, a few study filters. So for the study filters, the first one I'm going to add is an average volume. Now under the stock filter, you can add just regular volume, but I like to do average volume because, you know, if you're running the scan, you know, toward the beginning of the day, you're not going to have a lot of volume probably. So I just like average volume. It gives you better results. So go down to volume, average volume. There's tons of stuff you could do in here, by the way. I'm not going to go go into uh, most of it, but you could explore that yourself if you're interested. Uh, let's go to volume, average volume. And I just like to do stocks that are greater than like 2 million is good or 1 million, you know, whatever. Okay. And uh, the next one we're going to do is we're going to check. This is optional, by the way, um, but I'm going to check for whether or not the stock has earnings coming up in the next 10 days because, you know, for days to expiration, we did six to 10 days. So I want to make sure for this, you know, cash secured put, there's no earnings coming up in the next 10 days. But you know, if you don't care about that, you can actually just leave this off and you'll get some results and they're going to have higher premiums, like if they have earnings. So if you don't really care about that, then you could leave this off, but I'm going to add it in just to be safe. So you go down to here, go to a corporate actions, then earnings. And it says earnings has, does not have switches to that, does not have an earnings announcement anytime in the next 10 bars. That's fine. That's exactly what we want. And uh, the next one is optional as well, but I'm going to show you how to make it so you're only looking for stocks that are in some sort of bullish uptrend or something. And you know, you can use whatever technical analysis trigger you have for this or not, but I'm just going to show you a quick example right here. You, you have all these to choose from. You, you have like crossovers and all that stuff. But what I'm going to do is just go in here and hit the little pencil. I'm going to show you a cool little, a cool window here. I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to say study and I'm going to do simple moving average. So let's type in sim. There you go. Simple moving average. We're going to say is the 20 above the 50, whether or not this is the best one to use, whatever. I'm just showing you an example. Uh, 20 is greater than and do study again. Simple moving average. 
So 20 is greater than 50. Save it. All right. So now it's only going to show us stocks where the 20 moving average is greater than the 50 moving average. You could change that to RSI, you know, exponential moving average, uh, whatever, whatever you're into. So that's pretty much it for the scan. Now you're going to want to make sure to save it. So, you know, you could pull it up anytime you want to. Just go to this one right here. Go to save scan query and just type in whatever you want it to be called. That's fine. I'm not going to save it here because I already have one saved. And then next time you open up Thinkorswim, you could just go here and put load scan query you know, and go to personal and you'll find it all there. So now that we have the uh, scanner pretty much built, before we get the results, I want to go into this little gear icon right here so we can change the headers up for these because the default ones aren't going to help you that much. Go to customize. And these are the ones I like to do. There's so many to choose from. Like you could pick whatever ones you want, but these are the ones I like to, I like symbol description, return on risk. That's very helpful. Delta. So you know which Delta, uh, the option that comes up in the result is. A dividend amount, dividend yield, put to call ratio, so you know what options traders are actually doing on it. A volatility index, that's pretty much just the implied volatility. Market cap, you know, the last price and percent change and the volume. And uh, like I said, you could do, you know, percent out of the money. Like a lot of these are really good. It just depends how much real estate you have and what you think is most important. But there's so many cool things you could add here if you want to. But these are the ones I like to add. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, now it's time to actually scan for some uh, cash secured put stocks. So press the scan button and you see right now there's a problem. Uh, applied materials is coming up uh, for one, you know, that's not a lot of results, which is fine. You know, the market's up a little today and we have a scanner that says, look for stocks that are down by a lot by minus 2% to minus 10%. But we, we can adjust this so we actually get more results. But another problem is it's just showing us a stock. It's not showing us which put option to choose. So in order to change that, go right here, go from stocks to stocks and options and then press scan again so it's thinking a little let me move this header here so you see the delta okay so now it's showing us that we're doing uh re applied materials in the results but it's now it's also showing you which uh, put is coming up and it shows you the uh return on risk for each of them so this is a really handy way and it shows you the delta so this is a really handy way to see which put you might consider doing uh, and, and you could see right here, all the way, if you go all the way over here, percent change, you could see applied materials is down 3.27% for the day. So that falls right within here, minus 10 to minus two. So this stock right here is a, is a quality stock, applied materials, and it's down for the day. And this is, you know, a stock you might consider, uh, you know, doing cash secure put on. And you see the put to call ratio is a 0 0.6 and uh, it's got pretty, pretty decent uh, implied volatility. And because we have here, earnings does not have any time in the next 10 bars, there's no earnings coming up. So this would be a pretty good candidate for us. But let's see if we could even get more results. And like I told you before, you know, it's personal preference whether or not you like to do them on stocks that have dividends or not. But if, if we, uh, applied materials pays a small dividend, that's why it showed up in the list. But if we actually get rid of this yield um, parameter, I guarantee you're going to see a lot more results come up. So let's just try doing that. So I got rid of that. Now we'll scan again. Yeah, you see we got a lot more results. Now we have AMD, Roku, AMAT, On Semiconductor, Airbnb, CrowdStrike, Cloudflare, and Okta. These are pretty good stocks for uh, for the wheel strategy or poor man's covered call, to be honest, because they don't pay dividends. But you see, the, here's all the different uh, put options we have to choose from. And it has the return on risk for all of them, has the delta for all of them. And at this point, it's pretty much up to you to determine which one of these, if any, you want to do. So you could do more research, you know, from here. But here's a great list of, of a place to start for cash secured puts. And you can see for percent change, all of them fall within our parameters of minus two to minus 10. So like Roku right down is down 5% today. You know, that's a pretty decent move down. You might, you might, uh, get a good deal on that as high implied volatility. If you look at the volatility index right here, like Roku has really high uh, implied volatility, 74%. And Cloudflare is really high implied volatility, 73%. So this is a, a great little scanner right here. And you can go through all these and see which one you want, see which Delta fits within what you're looking for. Like right now, this AMD one right here, is a it's a 22 delta so it's really far out of the money and it still has a 1.1 percent return on risk for seven days you know annualize that, that that's a pretty good return you might consider doing something like that this is a, a great little scanner and even though it's free you'd be hard pressed to find one as good as this for any amount of money 
And just keep in mind too, that I did this, uh, you know, what, let me see the study down here. The simple moving average, the 20 is greater than the 50. You know, if you take that off, you might have a lot more scan results. If you have your own technical analysis you want to do, you could put those in there. Like the possibilities are endless to get an awesome screener right here. And if you're finding that your results are, you know, the stocks that are coming up are maybe a little too risky for your taste, you know, just lower the implied volatility from 30 to 100 to like maybe 20 to 40 or something like that. You'll get a lot different results. And uh, for your return on risk, you could consider lowering that too. So, you know, you would have a lot more results that are more safe, <laughs> are considered more safe stocks. So that's pretty much it for building your own uh, cash secured put screener and thinkorswim. I hope you liked this video. Hope it helped you. If you want to see more dividends and options income content just like this, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Talk to you in the next one.